right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment that she had to go through, being d depressed, not being the champion, all that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. What a moment, all eyes are on the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion as she tries to succeed in defending the title yet again. She's one of the best pound for pound fighters, man or woman on this roster and prohibitively favored yet again in defense of her title. I love her confidence. I just love the way she carries herself as the champion. You don't have to know she's the champ to know she's the champ because when you look at her, she has that star ability about her. And even though she has that, all of it's rooted in her fighting ability. She is one of the best the Octagon's ever seen. And I do think she could be a double champion, but she was sort of reticent to hear that conversation. She is focused on the task in front of her tonight. Holly Holm steps inside the Octagon and is ready to fight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Misha Sakate. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC women's Bantamweight champion of the world, Holly, the preacher's daughter, Paul. All right, Herb Dean, third man You're in the right. octagon for this one. Ready. Good. So Holly Holm only started training full-time at MMA in 2013, so still developing her all-around game. No denying how gifted she is on the feet, and when the takedowns and the grappling starts to catch up with the striking, a scary proposition to everyone at 135 or 145 pounds. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Holm. Well, nice job by her there on the counter. She is a counter striker of the highest order. That is the book on her. She will use her opponent's aggressiveness against them at times. And if she can continue to do that throughout this fight, the advantage could swing her way. Oh, counter there with an uppercut, perfectly placed in time. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans. Not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. And she misses with the left punch there. Trying to set up that counter attack. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Holly Holt. Straight punch lands. And everything's landing with so much power. Yeah. 
great job fighting behind the limb. Big knee lands there. Oh, how good is that jab by Tate? Just over three minutes to go in our first round. land there on the counter punch. She's got an advantage in reach. It's one thing to have it. We always say it's another to put it to good use. She certainly did so there. Ooh, big shot land. Relax. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, an instinctive land there as she goes to the jab, DC. Nicely done. That jab is stopping her in her tracks. It is not only a range finder, she is really damaging her. Oh, there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Let's go, let's get the takedown. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, nice right hand. Just over two minutes now to go. Tate gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect. Beautiful. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that. When she is this, free-flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. Big right hand. Well, she seems to be moving okay, but her calf has started to show some real damage. But you can tell, every time she gets hit, oh! cannot take too many of those. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, effective use of the jab by Holly Holm. That one's still in. see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now, but if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. Stupid shoot. Nice kick. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really gonna take their toll as this fight moves on. Well, Holmes' forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. Works huh. out for the end of round one. All right, heading back to the corner, and Holly Holmes got a nasty cut above the eye. Cut man has his work to do here in advance of round five. All right, back to the stools now. The cut man would appear to have his work cut out for him. She absorbed a lot of strikes in that round, and as such is dealing with a big cut above her eye. Yeah, they say that she's one of the better strikers in the UFC. And it was on full display in that round. She was landing shot after shot after shot. And ultimately, she got to the one that opened her opponent up. All right, we'll see Where if the cut fight? man can stem the right. bleeding here a little bit. But that becomes a major storyline now as this fight resumes and this next round gets underway. All right, so as this round gets underway, let's see if the high level... Oh, has had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down. Get another one off to finish the fight. Now we're going. Oh, that's big. Front kick by Holly Holm. Well, she has really shored some things up defensively here. She blocks another set of shots there. She said it was going to be a focus, get better defensively, and tonight she's showing that the work has been done. Tate gets caught with that punch. Man, she's got it all 
going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycles. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work. Because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moving. Nice level change. All right, so different rounds, same narrative, and it's the wrestler's hands. Not her takedown. She came here to box today. Yeah, she came here to box. John, she told us that we were going to be very surprised at how good she looked in the stand-up. And to this point, she has proven that. But I wonder how soon we can expect a level change for her to try to take her opponent down. Because ultimately, you always go back to what you do instinctively. And we know that's a wrestling. Uppercut lands. She did a great job blocking that shot. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out there and be out of Find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Oh, huge left. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landed. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. Doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it, but you got to protect it. Nice strike. Well, we sat down with her on Thursday. She said it's all coming together, and she has put on a striking clinic tonight. Clearly her best performance in the U.S. The only danger was if her opponent could get it to the ground. She could not, and you saw how well a high-level striker can work whenever she's very comfortable. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Well, seemingly, even when she gets her hands up, a lot of these strikes are getting through and looks like some swelling on her head area now. I mean, swelling on her head. You know, she's getting beat up. Make no mistake about it. She's taken far too many of these shots. What she needs to do is get active in her defense. Make sure that she doesn't get hit with too many shots clean. Because while it may not be bad yet, it's only going to get worse. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seen damage. Huge fire there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh! Oh, she's able to... Oh! Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving boss lands. So how about this result tonight? She told us in the fighter meeting, I got to get a finish here tonight. She absolutely kept the judges out of it. That is her signature win, and this crowd enjoyed every minute of it. Signature win, John. She has never looked better. She said she was going to get a finish. She got the finish. What a tremendous performance by this young lady. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Holly the Preacher's Doctor. So your winner tonight, Holly Holm, the preacher's daughter. She's been a little bit up and down in her UFC career. She was certainly up here tonight.